Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. It has been a while since we've done a speedy sample review or just any blind review in general. It's been a little bit, which seems strange on a blind whiskey review channel. However, uh, one of you called me out, I won't name names, one of you viewers out there called me out saying they want to see more blind content and they hadn't seen it in a while and that was kind of intentional. Um, I've been trying to stockpile up some of these samples of whiskey from doing the No Time Like the Present reviews. I'm trying to change the way I logistically put these things together and, and get the whiskeys reviewed for you. Um, so I need to build up a stock of those a little bit, which is why I've been doing so many, so many of the No Time Like the Present reviews and not a lot of blind reviews. But don't worry, they're coming back in full force and I have a special announcement coming soon of a series I'm gonna be doing of videos that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. So stick around, make sure you pay attention for that. That'll be coming out pretty soon here in the next week or so. So anyways, without further ado, let's get to a speedy sample review. We've got our random number generator programmed with 24 samples. Today we're gonna to be drinking sample number 20. As you always, as I've been doing, I hit the number three times so we can just see that it's a bunch of different numbers and it's random. And if you haven't joined me for one of these before, we've got 24 samples in these two boxes. These are made up of whiskey sent to me by Distilleries Review, whiskey sent to me by friends in the whiskey world, and whiskeys I've already reviewed. And we wanted to see how they were doing after the bottle had been open for a few months, see how it did with a little bit of airtime. So if this is a re review, I'll link it up here and down in the description below. We picked sample number 20, so there's 12 in this box. That would be 16, and this will be 20. Looking away, pouring some whiskey. All right. Back into the box. Got a pretty medium amber type color here, bordering on the dark side of amber. First thing I smell on this nose is big butterscotch. Caramel. Butterscotch, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oak. Hmm, a little bit of heat on the nose. Smells good so far. Definitely not picking up any fruity characters at this point in time, so that's, that's a little interesting. Definitely butterscotch though. All right, well, I'm curious to get into the taste of this one. Let's get to it. Cheers. Hmm. The palate's kind of a weird twist of flavors. Um, I definitely want to get another taste before I start digging into this too much. The butterscotch is there. It's certainly not as bold as it is on the nose. There's some fruity qualities in there too. There's some cinnamon, there's some spice. There's a little bit of a like charred barrel character in there as well. Let's get another taste. Wow, the flavors just totally flipped on me. Um, definitely a lot more fruitiness now that I'm getting on the front of the palate. That kind of carries through to the mid palate. Um, reasonably long finish and those fruity characters are just going out. I've kind of lost that butterscotch taste on it. It's tasting really good. It's definitely got a little bit of heat on it. Um, I'm getting a solid warming feeling on the tongue. Nothing really going down the chest, but definitely the, the tongue is giving you something. Um, I guess the proof a little bit more towards the end of this. Let's get another taste or two in. Yeah. Now it's just staying solidly fruity. We've got some light fruit characters. We've got a little bit of like a red fruit. Um, there's almost like a tropical fruit quality kind of towards the middle. Maybe something like a mango or papaya um, with a little bit of cherry mixed in there, like a little bit of a darker berry type. 
it's just got a reasonably long finish. You kind of stay with this almost juicy fruit-like quality um, on the palate here, which is nice. Mouthfeel is not like excessively coating or anything. Um, it's medium mouthfeel. Um, so I got a pretty, pretty long finish though. Pretty impressed. Let's get one more taste. So now I've had a few tastes of it. I'm picking up on a quality I feel like it might be a little bit younger whiskey. And it's certainly not off-putting. It's not bad. There's just these notes that make me kind of feel like maybe it's not quite ultra old. You know, maybe it's in that three, four year old range perhaps. I mean, there is this like little bit of a charred oak quality, which is kind of throwing me off. It almost feels like one of those, um, yeah, you know, like a Texas whiskey type where it's like, it was either aged in a different environment or in a different kind of barrel or something to that effect. Just because it has that weird, I'm getting these kind of grassy-ish notes, youthful notes, along with like this barrel character. So I don't know what that means, but definitely changed a lot. Yeah, even on the nose, I don't pick up that butterscotch character at all anymore, which is super strange. It's a really interesting whiskey. I wouldn't say it's overly complex, but there's definitely a decent amount of characters in there to dig into and taste. It's changed a lot from when I first started tasting it until now. Um, Proof-wise, it's I feel like it's a little bit higher. You know, maybe we're in that like, I don't know, that burn felt like it was even maybe over 100. Maybe we're in that like 105 range. Um, it's good. Uh, I'm a little bit confused by it just because like I said, some of these notes I'm tasting don't really jive and go together, but hey, that is what it is. I think it's good, decent, drinkable whiskey. I'm going to give it a score of an, I think this is a 82. I think it is good, drinkable, solid whiskey. Like I said, I'm just a little bit confused by it. There's even like these notes in here of like a youthful rye. So I don't know what it is. Let's not waste any more time. Let's find out. This Oh, interesting. This is Bourbon 30 by Jay Mattingly. This is their Heathcliff bottled at 108 proof. I am so glad I was able to get to one of these. I've had these samples for a while. The, they were sent to me by Bourbon 30. Thank you guys for sending these out. This is really, really interesting whiskey. So they have a whole program where they do um, different single batches and barrels of whiskey that they're providing out to you guys. Um, I believe it's all sourced whiskey, but they're just doing these really interesting things with it. And this, this whiskey is definitely no exception to that. It's just so all over the place and so, it's very unique. Like there's just a lot of unique characters. Um, like I said, I was, I was smelling butterscotch. I was tasting a lot of fruitiness and it, and it developed and changed as I was drinking it, which is cool. Um, I was a little bit confused just by how it, how it comes across. I would like to spend some more time with it, but it's very interesting. I'd be curious to, to know how old this whiskey is because it doesn't feel very old. Like I said, there's some youthful characters in there, um, but I can't remember if this is a, if they batch this or if these are single barrels. I think this is perhaps a batch. I'll have to look. Let me look at that up. I'll come right back. All right, so just to confirm what I was saying, this is a small batch bourbon whiskey they call Heathcliff. It was bottled at 54% ABV and that's about all the information I'm getting on this particular bottle. So it is a batched whiskey. They did blend this. Like I said, I would imagine there's at least some decent portion of younger whiskey in here. But like I said, they did a good job of blending. It doesn't, it doesn't taste off-puttingly young. It just it adds a little bit of that complexity to it. And it, they did a good job blending in other flavors in there. You can definitely tell they went for a unique blend here because there's just so many characters that kind of come off strange and you don't really know how to think about them. But now knowing what it is, it totally makes sense to me. So anyways... Good whiskey. I can't wait to try more of their stuff, and I can't wait to drink the rest of this and see how it goes. But if you had a chance to try any of Bourbon 30 stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear what you guys think about it. And as always, you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can catch me on Instagram at Mission Bottle Kill, where I'm posting pictures of people emptying out all kinds of bottles of whiskey. So if you want me to post your pick, tag at Mission Bottle Kill in the picture. And if you'd like to send me an email, you can do that at blindwhiskeyreviews at gmail.com. That's whiskey with an E. And until next time, Cheers.